you. Uh, I am Joseph, son of Jacob. I believe you know my son. And Mary looked at me and she said, Joseph, I do not know how to tell you this. I am frightened. And I said to her, now Mary, don't be frightened. There is nothing you could say that would change my love for you. I love you more than anyone. You and I are to be wed. Yes, please just tell me. And she looked at me and she said, Joseph, I am with child. I understand. So I told her, I will go home and I will pray and ask God for a direction. You see, I was raised by my father Jacob to pray. During good times and bad, always go to God, turn to God and ask for direction. Yes, I said, Mary, you must please forgive me. I had planned to come here this day to tell you that I had decided we should become divorced. But Mary, I had a vision not dissimilar to yours. And in mind, the heavenly beings appeared and said that the child you are carrying is of the Holy Spirit. Because I told you, I'm a builder. I like working with rocks and wood. And, and I found a piece of wood this day. And I picked it up and I began to, to carve on it with a knife. And I, I, when I start carving, I never know what it's going to be until I am finished. Well, I'm carving on this and pacing back and forth. And for the first time in my life, I held my son. And I tell you, he did not cry. He did not even cry. Hello. And Jesus would ask me, he said, how is that that those sheep knew to follow that one shepherd? And I said, well, because they have grown accustomed to hearing his voice and knowing his voice. And then I would tell him, it is that way with God. That is why we are to pray to God daily so that we know God's voice when God speaks to us. So when we hear him speak, we can answer and say yes. Let's retrace our steps and try to find him. What kind of a father? loses his son. I told you that I was not worthy. He was in the temple. He was sitting there. He was talking to the, to the teachers and the rabbis. He was asking questions. They were answering. They were asking questions. He was answering. We were astounded to see this. And we ran to him and we put our arms around him and said, we have been so frightened. But then Mary let him have it. <laughs> and don't you see, God knew. God knew that if I were still on the earth, I would have done everything I could have to have prevented it. I could not have let them do that to my son. It was my boy. It was my little boy. God spoke to me because I am one of his children. But you too are his children. And I tell you, God speaks to you. But are you listening? 